taking me this far. I, uh... This is where we part ways. For the moment. Asura will want me to report in alone. Sorry, it's, it's company business. I might not be back for a few days on account of this. I'm supposed to handle this one alone. I won't ask you to come along or get involved. That shouldn't be a problem. You leave a messy trail in your wake. Yeah, well. Try not to sink the ship while I'm away. It's hardly my fault someone stored the pitch next to the lanterns. Go have fun. Chase a god, save an island. Do what you do best, Captain. Awfully sentimental of you to suggest it. I'll do my best. Pyro cheats, I'm telling you. It's impossible to cheat at Hazatoa. like he's gonna do one thing, then he does something else. That's called strategy. And don't you work for Atsura? What can I do? Clear skies. That explains the rumors the Valians are scaling up in Queen's birth. I'd hoped you would stop them. Nevertheless, I'm more interested in reports the storms around the islands have cleared. What do you know of this? Even if this isn't the outcome we'd wanted for Poco Kahara, your observation is infinitely more valuable. Take this, and remember it the next time we call on you.
We'd long suspected something unnatural was behind the storms, but we had little evidence. Yes. If the storms that assail Rawatai have a similarly unnatural origin, then perhaps they too can be stopped. And if that's the case, then there's more work to be done. Work that you might be able to help with. After all, somebody has to keep the peace in these tumultuous times, no? In any case, Hazanui Karu has a matter that could use your help. Her office is on the main floor behind the large double doors. It's most conspicuous. Atsura tells me you tamed the storms of Pokokohara. And I'm thinking you didn't accomplish that by whispering arcane gibberish, or whatever it is you used to do. Makes a person wonder what kind of secrets lie in Andra's mortar. Driven, inventive. But they've also held us back. Forced our people to seek resources and livelihoods far from our homes and families. Imagine how much more we could achieve if we could control those storms. Why not? 
The storms there cannot be natural. Not when they are so ferocious, so constant. <clears throat> and your exploits at Poco Kahara suggest that something else may be behind them. But enough of that for now. There's an understatement. The trouble in Hasango forced us to send additional ships back to Rawatai to make up for shortfalls. and storms at home have delayed another portion of our fleet. This leaves us short-handed here. I'm sure you'll get the chance. We're due to collect a special shipment for delivery to our port at Sayuka. We've contracted with a captain named Widler. Meet her, complete the trade, and take the cargo to Sayuka. Fleet Master Okaya is overseeing the development of some special projects there. She's one of the brightest minds in Rawatai, and it shows. You two will get along. Most of her work is, or should be, under wraps for now. But perhaps she can give you a taste of what we have to offer. Good sailors with a fast ship and no mind for questions. Along with half the population of this storm-tossed archipelago. Let's just say, I'm not keen to invite them to a port where we're developing experimental technologies. Along with half the population of this storm-tossed archipelago, Whitler's agreed to meet our courier out at sea, away from the heaviest traffic. This is her payment. We've already negotiated with her. Fleet Master Okaya will see to your compensation once you arrive with the cargo. You've got a reputation for cutting corners and making your own rules. I don't care how you deal with Widler, but don't try to cross us. There isn't a straight and dead fire that'll hide you from our cannons. Clear skies.
This is futile! Prayers. Take much more.
Tell me. Of course. Now, what can I do for you? If you see anything you like, you let me know.
mind. Tell me when, hey, who go ya? From a tear wood babe to a sailor fine, hoorah for the dead fire line. Now dead fire roots, they make good time. Tell me away, hey, who go ya? With the clear white streets and in let fine, hoorah for the dead fire line. Oh, there the lines where you can shine. Tell me away, hey, who go ya? Oh, there the lines where I spin. Prime hurrah for the dead fire lines. Just take a trip to Port Magic. Tell me way, hey, ho, ho, ya. To Port Magic, where the sailors stay. Hurrah. Did Can't you catch be the you, new I think play by the peg leg performers yet? It's awful. The Green Menace? That I did. Made me want to poke out my eyes. Keep moving. This here is for the crew of the Divine Barge. You ain't a part of it, so you ain't getting inside. Have you tried the Wild Mare in Nekataka? I'm sure they have a boy or two who would let you call him Giacolo for a couple hours. Per Blanca, let us pass. I know you have Giacolo. I have known him since I was a girl in the Republics. So, why should I care? He saved my life. He has saved the lives of many of our kind. Whatever you think he has done, you have the wrong idea about him. Meh. Fine. I probably won't live to regret this. you. I am Tatsatl, captain of the Divine Barge. What has brought you to this place? I see. We ourselves have been debating what to do with Giacolo for quite some time. We are lost in the woods. You will guide us out by traveling the branching paths of Altleja. A forest is defined by its boundaries. There are a finite number of ways through a forest, 
just as there are a finite number of ways this can end. I know the ways out of the forest, but you will choose the paths to take. A woman is with a child, and she learns that if the child is born, it will suffer greatly and have a short life. If she ends the child's life before it truly begins, is this good or bad? I'm no expert on other gods, but I don't believe Helia would wish for any child to suffer. It is. But I am the Pathmaster, and you are the Traveler. I decide what paths exist, and you decide what paths you take. You discover a powerful new technology but you are afraid some people may misuse it for ill purposes. Would you destroy the technology, regulate access to it, or make it available to everyone equally? Certainly it should not be destroyed. It would only be a matter of time before someone else made the same discovery. If it can be used for good, then surely it's better to entrust it to a responsible authority. An enemy of yours is being persecuted. The grounds of the persecution are, by measure of your own compass, unfair. Would you allow the persecution to continue, or would you intervene to stop it? You learn that someone who does great good for many people is unintentionally going to do great harm to many people. The harm may not be great, or it may be so great that it dwarfs the good they have done. You have an opportunity to prevent this by killing them. Do you do so? In a world that is not the one I have proposed, perhaps, but these are the branching paths. Very well. Your path has led to this conclusion. We will release Giacolo, but his research must be destroyed. And if he resumes this research, we will hunt him down and kill him and everyone else involved. On what grounds? You haven't even explained what he's done. Giacolo has discovered a method by which one may detect a godlike fetus in a mother's womb. In the Deadfire Archipelago, parents consider a godlike child to be a blessing. From Bereth and Helia to Andra and Galloway, all are beloved, save those of Scan. Appearing mutilated at birth, many godlike of Scan are killed with the tacit approval of the tribe. Those who aren't killed lead miserable lives. I agree, as does my crew, which is why we decided to bring Giacolo here to decide what should be done about him, and his research. And after all this, you're going to let him go and destroy his research because of how the Watcher answered your stupid riddles? Yes. 
Our group was conflicted, so I pose to you a series of hypothetical questions, absent the specific context of our current problem. While you may have deduced some hint of the context during the questioning, it was a less biased method of reasoning than we were engaged in. After all, for us, this is a matter of life and death. There may be superior ways to debate this subject, but it is the best approach I could conceive. Now, if you will excuse us, you may take Mestre Giacolo. We will destroy the research, and heed my caution carefully. Should you resume this study, we will find you, kill you, and kill all who are assisting you. In all likelihood, yes. But who knows how long that will be, how much these societies may change until then. Disappointed we were unable to save Giacolo's research. But thank you for helping me save the man himself. P -p Palagina, is that you, my girl? I thought those p pirates would have been the end of me. Not if I could do something about it. I owe you too much to let something happen to you over some nonsense. My girl. What that Satter said is not non nonsense. He had good reason to be afraid. Research should not be restricted, but use of the technology, y yes. But who should decide how it should be restricted? Perhaps the Dukes would be wise enough to regulate Animances without driving them away from the Republics. Ach, that is the danger. When Adir and the Deer would begin restricting Animances, researchers simply moved east to the Republics. Uh. 
But a light and wise hand to steady our course. Perhaps that would be a good thing. Ack, perhaps. Well, it appears we are done here. We should see you back to Nekataka, Mestre Jokolo. Ack, ack. Before I go, I want you to have this, Saimora Net. An amulet of my own invention. It resonates with the go godlike souls. Even severed, there is enough magic in your chime to activate its power. Appreciate all you have done, both of you. I'm not so sure I believe you. What am I thinking right now? No, wait. <laughs> now. It don't work that way, lass. I pick up on feelings. See fragments of memories sometimes. Impressions. And mostly when folks are upset or a bit of nerve, unless I'm trying to intrude. And I generally try not to intrude. Ah, that were an accident. If anything, you be the one that were intruding on me. You could take a gander if you wanted. I mean, not all the time. Just this once. As you wish, lass. So which is it? Light or dark? What do you see? Neither, lass. Bounced off you like a bullet off an ironclad. Mayhaps. Let me be ruminating on it for a tick, Captain. Ah. Yes. You only have to ask. Hmm? I'd be glad to. Give her a bound wrap. 